Hey guys, we just got back from Holmes and Watson uh, after our holiday break here. <laughs> it's the first movie we're checking out. Uh, and my God, was it garbage. Oh, <laughs> Garbage. I'm going to say yeah. it right now. Hated it. Awful. Awful film. And f- here, this is all you need to know. If you think that this is funny, <laughs> if that's the funniest thing you've ever seen, this film is for you. What do you think, Alex? I think that I am happy now because I have a beer. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> a beer is an understatement. That is the Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy shit. You need to drink that much beer after watching this movie. Yeah, this movie is like not it. very good. Oh, my God. But that looks like a delicious beer. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you lucky ass bastard because he's getting to wash away his memories. So there's this thing called buffalo theory, right? Uh-huh. So you, when predators hunt buffalo, they only get the slowest and weak mm-hmm. uh, buffalo. So okay. same works with brain cells and beer, right? <laughs> so the, bra- the brain cells I have that have Holmes and Watson – in, 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 in the brain cells are the slowest and the weakest. And this will kill this movie. <laughs> yes. Good. So yes. when I finish this, it'll be gone. Right on. <laughs> That's exactly what he should let you. Ooh. <laughs> Joe, what are you drinking? The same thing? Just oh, a little thing. kitty, kitty smarter. cup? Is that your kitty That's cup? A full, yeah, that's a no. full pint. It's your little sippy cup, Joe. Well, look, this guy's... No, I can't give compete a, with Give that. a little drink. I can't compete with that. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is seriously one of the worst. Uh, right here at the end of, of, of 2018, we got one of the worst comedies to come out. I hear Atlas, Joe. We need to try that out. I hear it's I a big it's disaster. A, yes. Oh, it's a it's reskin. A, oh, yeah. It was yeah, so we got we to gotta check that out. So getting back into the swing of things here. Uh, so Holmes and Watson, stay far away. I have no idea how well, these gentlemen like Step Brothers, right? Yes. Yeah, and, and Talladega Nights. And Talladega Nights. The duo of these two, John C. Riley and Will Ferrell, you, you got to be like, oh, way they're coming together again, and then, oh, it's going to be great. It's awful. Yeah, there was the, nothing new in this it, film. It just recycled yeah. old jokes, and it's like bad slapstick. And I like Selfie some, jokes. Oh, what the man. fuck? There's a selfie joke in this. We're duck face. (laughs) And the audience. (laughs) Uh, We were in an audience with morons again. (laughs) There was only like two or three people laughing. No, I'm playing. Uh, You're you're right. There wasn't that many laughs. And I was kind of glad to see that because I'm pretty sure audiences hate this as well. Mm -hmm. I did not laugh uh, out loud, but maybe once I chuckled. Once or twice I chuckled. What was the the groan to laugh uh, ratio? For me, it was like... I, I didn't ninety five percent. I was gonna say ninety five. Yeah. We all right. High yeah. five. Air high. <laughs> air five. Ninety five percent grown. Five percent chuckle. Yeah. Um. So this is a film. Uh. Will Ferrell plays Sherlock Holmes. They're in London. Uh. They have several days to find out. Uh. One of Marty Artie's. Uh, Marty Mor- Artie's. <laughs> Marty Artie's. Uh. Morty's. <laughs> Morty's uh, latest uh, diabolical plan. He's going to kill the queen in several days, and they've got to figure out the mystery and solve the final case before the queen dies. And that's basically the plot, but it, you know, largely ignores that so that it could do these terrible, terrible jokes, introduce awful characters. There's a character in here, literally the whole film, she's... Doing that the whole they got film. Got some people laughing though. I don't know how, but it was... I guess just they that had lady's a face. Bunch of these. That lady's face is is just rubbery and funny looking, and I feel sad for her like, because that's her face. everybody's <laughs> laughing at her face, and she's purposely playing it. <laughs> you know, I was like, okay, well, you know, at least Jim Carrey. This shit was funny. This shit is not funny. You know. Yeah, and unfortunately, uh, the. Uh, I can't call them the best jokes. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were played on Which, the trailer, mm-hmm. and those were like not the funny. Best yeah. jokes that they had in the film. So, so, so that was, was crap. Yeah, exactly. We we looked at the trailer. We thought the trailer was crap. Uh, I don't think we did a trailer review. Remember, we did. I don't know. I this think thing's we did. fucking so awful that I'm like, it's not going to look good. Uh, and I was right. And you know, I was hoping that maybe they were saving the jokes. For the actual film. I was hoping. We talked about it beforehand yeah. when we had a beer because we were trying to prep for how bad we knew this movie was going to be. <laughs> I was and hoping it was, was going to be it. like bad good or something oh, stupid no. like that. But yeah. It was just terrible. Mm-hmm. The, I, uh, who wrote this? Uh, 
They're, the writer and director are the same oh, person. Eaton Cohen? Eaton Cohen. And this is the guy that did uh, Idiocracy. He did Tropic Thunder. Uh, and he, uh, he did some stinkers, too, he was, as well. He didn't write those. He just kind of worked. Maybe no, he he's did... a screenplay. He what? wrote I think he wrote those. the productions, Gary uh, Sanchez or something like that. He also did Casa de Mi Padre, mm-hmm. oh, right. which wasn't too bad. No, I, I I actually would rather watch Casa de Mi Padre because yeah. at least there was a satisfying story. It wasn't funny, but it was just like <laughs> – Harmless. This one's harmless too. I mean, this is not like you know. It's gonna rot your brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. It's it'll you know, it's it's not harmless because it will rot your brain. Uh, but you know, you you have some serious actors in it. Uh, I don't remember Moriarty's. Uh, Ray ca- Fines, Ralph Ray, Fines. Ray Fines. They give him literally nothing to do. They center the whole film around the comedy duo of Will Ferrell and John C. Riley, and for whatever reason, they just could not at all come with the magic and the, the laughs at all. They are, of course, they always do the man babies, the man childs. And yeah. I get it. It's funny, but it has it has really run its course, especially when there's no material. There's no big laughs. There's nothing that you can really attach to. I actually had more fun in the beginning of the film where they show a young uh, Sherlock Holmes and a young Watson. I wanted to watch that film. I didn't. Rather than this film. No. Nope. Because, oh, no. That, nope, I was that, done. I, no, that was way better than what we saw. And those child actors were way better, in my opinion. Yeah, but in, in every movie they do, it's like the same conflict. They want equal partnership. Tatic and Knights, it, this is the mm-hmm. same thing. And in this one, it's the same oh, wow. thing. He wants to be equal. He's like, no, you're not equal. Like, right. You're that was the subplot. It. Yeah, you're overplaying it. Like, I'm done with it. This movie made... All of, so I have a lot of friends that don't like Will Ferrell at all. Nothing he's ever been in. And I'm usually like, well, I don't the love same him. He's character in every he movie. He everything. But all of the criticisms that just you know live in the back of your head, and you're like, wow, they're all right. Like, yeah. this is if this is the, what they're seeing, then I get it. Then I would hate the duo as well. Because this movie was really bad. Like, career-ending yeah. bad. Yeah. This thing basically uh, you know, ruins uh, the comedy of Will Ferrell. It actually... Uh, denigrates, <laughs> you know, previous stuff. So it, it sucks. It really sucks to see. They, you know, they really incorporate the, the, the queen a lot. You know, I didn't think that they would do <sighs> that. But the, every single joke is centered around hurting her. That's probably like the only thing that got me to laugh is, you know, the abuse of the queen. He's basically. Like getting, that and one I'm not scene, even British. That one scene. The one five second long scene of trying to stuff. Uh, I don't even know if we should do. It's just Fuck it. Don't see this film. Okay, we'll do a small spoilers section afterwards. But there's one funny, you know, scene, and I'll talk about that in the tiny spoilers. And it's not even that funny. And it's not even that funny. So, basically, were you guys at least uh, involved in the plot? Like, who is behind this? I was not intrigued at all. I was bored. You were bored? I was bored. So you weren't going along with the detective stuff and... You know no, how it's slowed it was, down, and Will Ferrell does his. He takes from every single other yeah, yeah. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Where he does all the, you know, calculations in his mind. None of that stuff. Everything was, was pretty well. Much they set it up from the very beginning that nothing matters. When mm-hmm. they're like, they they let you know that the the Moriarty that they've got is there's there's something else going on. He has all of these weird theories, so you know. From the very beginning that they're not going anywhere relevant with the plot. They're just yeah. doing whatever they want to do. Exactly. <laughs> it's a vehicle for them to do whatever they want to do. But for for some reason, everything that they wanted to do was not funny. Or maybe they just like took several takes and all the good ones are <laughs> not, there, not the ones they used. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But, Someone uh, dropped the ball. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there was... You know, a cameo uh, from from an actor that I think is perfect to play Sherlock Holmes in it. Uh, you know, we can talk about that in the spoiler section. But you know, even his role is inconsequential. Um, they they do something slightly creative. Oh, the whole dumb thing around Sherlock Holmes and him reading all the scientific stuff. They do something interesting with that with the the duo of Watson and and Sherlock. But I'm I'm basically you're grasping, raping the yeah. bottom of the barrel to try to find a reason why this movie existed. I Paycheck. think they have they, they've kidnapped like the children of the people involved, Maybe. and they're just like, "Look, you don't get your kids back until you make this movie." You you would think that these two would know what's good comedy and what's bad yeah. comedy by now, and they say, "Well, we don't want to run it into the ground." 
And but this is the project they picked to come back with? Yeah. If, if, doesn't it feel like it was shelved and it was only released on Christmas because you're going to get some automatic ticket sales yeah, there? Everyone's going to be bored. They're like, all right, let's go check this out. Big yeah. mistake. <laughs> Don't do that with your family over the holidays. Still some holidays left. We've got New Year's coming up. So if you're still spending time with your family, go see Spider-Man. This go, was a waste of time. Yeah, go see <laughs> Spider-Man. What's another good one? Go see um, Aquaman. I would see Aquaman before this. I'd see Bumblebee before this, <laughs> honestly, for the visuals and for the first three minutes of Bumblebee. So it gets that. Bumblebee is a better film over uh, Holmes and Watson. So let's go ahead and give our final verdicts. Uh, let's start with Joe. Um, with this, like I was saying before, they play the same characters in every film, and it's the same thing. They're just running it to the ground. They just want equal partnership. Mm -hmm. uh, the story was not intriguing for me at all. I was honestly bored out yeah. of my mind. I wanted the movie to end. <laughs> there was no funny parts. I didn't <laughs> laugh. The twist didn't get you, Joe. No, not at all. I was like, oh, okay, cool. It's over. Uh, I'm going to give this a three. Ooh, Dude. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I'm... I'm I want to give it a two, See, but it's not yeah. that bad. I, I mean, was thinking about it too. I was like, I'm on the fence, but it's like. But it also wasn't made particularly well. Like, if you watch some of the, they they did some dubbing mm -hmm. of the uh, the oh. actresses and the actress yeah. when you're yeah, watching that, 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 that Irish uh, yeah. helper lady. You could tell she's clearly not. saying She's not the saying lines. anything because like, you're seeing her from the side and you can't. Her, her mouth, mouth isn't moving, and so they're dubbing over things, and so it's also not made particularly yeah. well. <laughs> so I was like, maybe I downgrade this to a two because it's not funny. No, it's yeah. not. it's not a funny like movie. It. But I. Do it. I want to save. Look, there's, there's, there's some. You've had all. Oh my god, you've almost drank I'm that not entire even done fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, you lightweight. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna give it a three. No, that's the beer talking. That's the first time we're getting. <laughs> He's getting more animated. Look at Alex. We just need. Look at this. <laughs> we just need to have Alex. Drink. Oh my god. He's crazy, well man. done, sir. Well done. <laughs> I'm going to give it a fucking two wow. because I just did not laugh at all. I did a <laughs> kind of chuckle once and I wanted it to end because I yeah. like both of these guys. I've seen them in better movies and it, it just the magic was completely not there. It felt like a holiday cash in film. Nobody's heart was in the right place. I'm so surprised that a, a director and writer who has uh, talent and idiocracy and, and Tropic Thunder was was not able to come up with one or two of his own jokes to throw in there. He wrote the fucking thing. And and it's like you said, it's not edited together all that well. The story isn't interesting. You see the twist coming from a mile away. And the jokes, everything so cool. And the jokes, the selfies, duck faces, and and, and then re cat ladies. recycled stuff. Stuff that we've seen a thousand, thousand times. times. Yep. Do not go see Holmes and Watson. This is even a low Netflix watch, really, I in even my see opinion. It on yeah, no, no. It's just just it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Stick around. We'll talk, I don't know, two minutes about spoilers. Uh, and appreciate you watching. Uh, thank you so much. And if you're not going to see the movie, which you shouldn't, come join us in the spoiler section right now. Just come on. Come on. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. See you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. All right, welcome to the spoiler section. So what were the funniest jokes in the film? Now, the trailer was awful, but me and Joe laughed at one thing. We laughed at shooting bees. Yes. But when we saw it in the film, like, we didn't laugh. It was, like, edited <laughs> differently. And it we were like, wasn't what? funny the first time. And so when you saw it the <laughs> second time. A little, a little, a little bit. bit. A little it was bit. a small, like, huh, they're shooting Right, but it was dumb when we saw it again. Yes. So we came to that realization. The one part I chuckled at was when he not not be, not he knocking out the queen with the selfie because he knocks out the queen. You've seen that in the trailer, mm -hmm. but the her the queen's guard is right outside. He's like, shit, we gotta we gotta do something. We gotta hide the queen, hide her body, and they try to stuff her. They think her. they've killed her. They think they kill her. They try to stuff her in a chest. 
And John C. Riley is like stuffing her, well, and then he, he's like banging he her. He humps and, her and, for like <laughs> ten seconds, <laughs> and then he's like kicking her ass into the box. And you can clearly tell it's a dummy because her like butt and yeah. hands <laughs> are all hanging out, and then they keep crushing it down. And that made me laugh a little bit. It was a little chuckle there. It was a pity laugh. It was a pity laugh, but it was mostly because the dummy looks funny. You you can't fuck that up. Anyway, she's not dead, and she, for no apparent reason, does not acknowledge what happened. And she's like, send me that, that selfie later. It'll be there in two weeks, ma'am. Ha <laughs> you, you, you know, that's the kind of comedy that's there. Uh, the only thing that approached funny, that didn't reach funny, is when he... They experimented with sending the first dick pic uh, via a, a telegram. Oh, telegram. Okay. Mm-hmm. So... There are there are three <laughs> moments that come close what? to laughter. That one, the queen moment, and does Joe, do you want to take the last one? It has to do with the soundtrack, the romanticism. They do a little love plot. Oh, that's something we forgot to take care of in the review. The love plot, terrible, <laughs> they stupid. They don't care. They don't care. We don't care. And the film doesn't care. Fucking Sherlock Ugh. Holmes falls in love with a stupid cat lady who acts like a cat the whole time. Well, she so has the uh, brain hate. of a four-year-old. Yes. She's a brain of a four-year-old. So, of course, Holmes is going to fall in love with her. And Watson falls in love with this American doctor. And they're constantly jamming in the, the, the feminist angle, the, the politics. And they, they take several shots at Trump. And it's not like other films where it's like, you know, he, he's a tyrant. Are you, are you with me? Or are you against me? You know, that kind of stuff. They, was lay, they were just straight out saying, Trump, you know, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. It was like way in your face. And look, I, I like Trump about as much as the next guy who doesn't like Trump. But I was like, this is just stupid and it's out of place in this fucking film. Um, but do you do you remember the, the third funny thing? The song. I forgot the name of the song. Unchained Melody. Yeah. Yeah. So they play this song while they're in the uh, – uh, mortician's office. They're yeah. cleaning off the guy with the cake. Yeah, so a guy died. died inside of a cake as a warning that he's, the queen is next. And so she's a doctor, and Watson's a doctor, and they go in to perform uh, the you know uh, the procedure and and or just to figure out what what killed him. And the music starts playing romantically, and I thought they were gonna do like a ghost thing, yeah, or something but, like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, and they do something similar, and they and he's like rubbing the guy's nipples, and he's like, "This is so, I find uh, this procedure so sensual." It's like what? Yeah, so, so with the music playing, that kind of made me chuckle. But those three things don't make you laugh out loud; they just make you smile and go, "Oh, I see what you're going for." Hmm. Then the next joke comes along and you're like, oh, oh, my God. There were so many times in this film where I was just like. Yep. <laughs> I checked my watch probably seven, eight times. Yeah. I was like, all right. <laughs> so, and you know, that, that that moment that came to a dead stop in our review, that's like the feeling of watching the film. So. Holmes and Watson. Okay. So who was the, since we're in the spoiler section, what was the, the plot handmaid. line? The made. Mm-hmm. The yeah. The handmaid is the, the daughter of Moriarty. So yes. everybody, you know, in in Holmes and Watson fiction, they usually have a helper uh, that helps them out, whether it's their landlady or their assistant. Here, it's their assistant. She's a younger lady that's uh, Irish or or something. And uh, they dub her over and over. And it's dumb. It's bad. Well, she could speak. She's she could do a good accent. But anyway, it was her the whole time that was trying to kill the queen and get the attention of her father because uh, Moriarty is apparently her father. Yeah, and so she puts a bomb in the Titanic. Mm-hmm. And she puts a bomb in the Titanic to blow up the queen, and, and, Hol- and Holmes can't quite you know, do the calculations right because he keeps thinking about this stupid rubber-faced cat lady uh, who's dumb as fuck. And, but then Watson finally is able to use his brain to communicate with... Holmes, because they have this this other joke where they look at each other like this and they communicate. And uh, but Watson's trying to do the calculations like fuck. I don't, what is this six and the upside? Uh, fuck, fuck it! And then he just runs it. He throws the bomb, and the bomb lands in her boat as she tries to escape the Titanic. It blows up, uh, and Holmes is very happy after accusing Watson of maybe being the one. And he had this whole plot line of feelings, you know. And he finally gets his feelings, you know. 
Uh, that that might have been another funny thing where he's crying and then oh my god he's uncrying because he got made fun of so much as a child. So the child uncries, <laughs> but that don't count because that wasn't Will Ferrell. That was the little kid selling yeah. that. <laughs> Anyways, so really bad. It uh, obviously uh, they you know captured the bad guy and he always had claims. That uh, his arch nemesis is actually hiding in America. And right at the end, we get a little after credit scene. It's not after the credits. It plays before the credits. That they go to America, and they know where he's at, and he gives him a note. He's like, uh, you know, your plan failed. We're coming for you. And he looks at and there they are in cowboy outfits in the old American West. And I was like, yes, sequel. They better make no. another one. <laughs> no, I was like, please, God, no. No it's more of flop. these. It, then it seemed like they were so proud of themselves in this movie, and it was so emotional at the end that they totally were wanting an, a sequel. No, I think they know what they made. <laughs> you know what they made? Yeah. And, uh, they, they, made, they made this thing like, look, we need a movie to, like, nothing's coming on Christmas. Nothing. Mm-hmm. So we need something, you know, for the, the non-comic book people. Because like, other than... I mean, what do we got? Bumblebee, we've got Aquaman, and we've got Into the Spider-Verse? Yeah. And that's it? I think I, I, I actually think the opposite. I think there's a ton of fucking shit during Christmas, and I'm glad that this one's probably going to get buried even more so because you got those three mm-hmm. mega ones. Then you've got more character-driven ones like the mule that we didn't, you know. Uh, oh, that came out a couple weeks ago, right? There's all the, there's yeah. two queen ones. There's the favorite, and there's the queen of the Scots or something like that. Mm. So many movies around this time where we did a bunch of December reviews uh, on movies, um, you know. So I, I think that there's just a lot, and I'm glad that this one's probably going to be buried and make zero money. <laughs> it'll make it'll make some, yeah, yeah, because of their names, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Oh, I remember now. I wanted to talk about the cameos. So who was in there? The House. House was in Hugh there. Laurie, Hugh yeah. Laurie uh, was in there. And I thought he would make a good uh, 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 Detective Holmes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was in. Uh, he played um, Sherlock's brother, which mm-hmm. is kind of funny because his comedy partner, Stephen Fry, played mm-hmm. that same character in all of the uh, Robert Downey Jr. movies. Yeah, Stephen Fry uh, Watson. No. Uh no, uh, hold on. Who am I thinking? No, I'm thinking Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, that guy. And the other guy. That's a different guy. Stephen Fry. You're right. Uh, was was that? So uh, so they did a little nod to that. They also did a nod to Titanic. They had Billy Zane boarding <laughs> Titanic. Oh, yeah, he was also the narrator of the film, which I didn't catch to the very end. Oh, I didn't notice. Me neither. Yeah. I didn't even wasted think there cameos. Was a narrator, a bunch wasted. of shitty wasted cameos. Well, uh, what? Who? The other cameo, um, Steve Coogan is in that, and he's in the oh, new yeah. uh, Stan and Ollie movie with John C. Riley, which is mm-hmm. maybe that's why they made this movie because they're like, look, you have to make our little art film. I'll make your garbage fire, but you make my little art film mm-hmm. about Laurel and Hardy that's coming out soon. That would yeah, make but sense. that one looks like you know. I really want to see that. I really want to see that. Probably one. gonna be good and shit. So you think that somehow has to do with this? He's production? like, look, I will make this. What other whore- explanation yeah. is there? <laughs> I, I have no idea. Money, Christmas, the names of Will Fair. Will Ferrell's like, man, come on, please, John C. Riley, please, man, you're doing real good, and and I ain't been doing nothing lately. And, and, I don't know. <laughs> He's probably got money. He's fine. I have. They're they they're both fine, and they just thought that they could do it again, and they didn't. Nope. Yeah. Bad writers. Losing the chemistry. I think the chemistry's still there. It's just the writing's bad, really I'm bad. In this one, yeah, they have they have <laughs> chemistry. Not in this one, but you're right. It just didn't show up. Joe, terrible. Final word. Terrible, man. Terrible. 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 All right, guys, that's it for our spoilers. You guys didn't want to bring anything else up. I'm trying to no, paint. stop. Uh. This movie's bad. <laughs> this movie's bad. Don't see it. Or uh, if you have seen it, well, this is the therapeutic section for people that might have wasted their money and took their family out or got conned into going. Oh, this is the part I got conned we, into going. Yeah, you did. <laughs> this is the part where we get to you know sort of make fun of it and. and oh, I am like, so yeah. sorry if you saw this movie. Yeah. Well, (laughs) that's it. All right, you guys. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Make sure to subscribe. Ending our dong. (laughs) Yeah. And (laughs) thank you guys so much. Uh, Click the link in the description. Like, do all the things that you're supposed to do on YouTube. And we'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye. Bye, guys.